Hello everybody, hope you're having a Nettle Plus day. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how we think the world of Yu-Gi-Oh! is going to be changing and how it's going to be impacting our own favorite deck, the best deck, Dark Warrior. So yes, in this video, you'll be seeing what my current bill for Dark Warriors moving forward will be once the 2021 Megaton out. Mainly be influenced by Cardi in your screen right now. Cross out designated. Of course, uh, by the time I'm making this video, the banners has not come out, so there are some things that are to change, some cards maybe getting banned, changing it on limit list, maybe some cards coming off the ban list that, you know what, we can maybe splash in. We don't exactly know what Konami is going to be doing. Well, yeah, with that in mind, I'll show you what I got plans currently. Alright, so we're still playing, playing a very similar version of Dark Warrior, but we're kind of changing out how we're playing kind of the side deck and the hand traps, okay? Now, of course, you know, the first about, about 18 cards, the same we had a last 50 card build, because I still say I think 50 card Dark Warrior is the way to go. It gives you good consistency to see your extenders, your one card combos, and also your hand traps. You say you want to play 40, because technically, you know, uh, it's easy to see your cards technically. That kind of format, sure, but you also want to see your, your equip spells more often. You can say in the flip that you want to play 60 cards instead. But if you play 60 cards and you're not going to see those one card stars like connector, you're not going to see the certain hand traps you want as much, and definitely not going to see cross out those scenarios. So, uh, yeah, starting off quickly, a uh, free butter supply, don't need to explain the cards, free five minute ladies, free junk forward, free connector, still I'll say the best normal summon in the game. Only card I feel like can give you a one card combo and see your opponent's hand and rip out hand traps all in one way. Really beautiful card. Uh, free uh, torn scale. Again, this one basically is a free apple as it gets you the Appaloosa of the combo, so great to see that. One Sage, or well, free Sage. And now we get into some of the spice, okay? Typically, before the cross out there, you know, came out, playing three ups. Now, say you should be playing at least two ups, okay? This is the case you draw them. That's because they'll find a C on multiples. We're going to play three cross, uh, free ash, two Ash Blossom. Words right there. Two draw, because it's a very good hand trap still in today's meta. Two effect for Elka, it's very good in today's meta. Two Nibiru, who's yet again, very good in today's meta. And, you know, I'll skip down there. We're also going to be playing two infinite impermanence. Because, again, I have basically the same per uh, use as effect failure, which any fans of Monster Negate is pretty good in the game. Right. We'll also be playing the one uh, Armageddon Knight, the one Black uh, Zephyrus Elite, one Griffo, one Dolphin, one Zombie, two Phantom Knights, and Vion Q. Okay, and we'll talk about that card in a second, the last card here in a second, but we're still playing the three uh, spell cards we've been playing typically, which is Autominus, Axe of Fools, Divine Sword, Double Enough, and DDR, uh, Durandale, which is going to reprint, so that card's going down price, which is cool to see. The Living Fossil, Overdone Burial, uh, Reinforcement Ar Arming, the one card, best card in the deck, and Phantom Nine Trank up. But we'll also be playing in the main deck, Cross Out this Snare. I want to see a lot of the player playing this card because you see this card going first, especially you're playing five different hand traps, and definitely part of the five that you're most likely going to see. Good hands, my friend. A bit, a bit, a bit of good hands. Right? That's kind of the reason why we're playing multiples instead of playing like, uh, I think last time we had made 12 hand traps, I would say. Free Nibiru, free Ash Blossom, free Imperm, free Dark Road No More. We're not playing Dark Road No More. Well, I would say if you aren't playing a deck of those Kali Yuga, <laughs> they want to, but I don't really care about Dark Rune no more, maybe because it does not affect my deck at all, so I don't need to play it with Cross Out Designator. And also because, again, it's this one that we're playing better cards, okay? We'll all take out the Dark, out, the dark Rune no more, so we have more place for uh, different hand traps to so alternate. Okay. Now, we'll talk about the side deck in a second. Well, let's go, well, no, let's do side deck now. What I'm talking about, side deck now. All right, so side deck to explain what's going on. I'm playing two also, two ofs, which is going to be Lancia, and I'll play, say, is Ghost Spell. Maybe because I feel like these are the two best at a generic base hand traps that you can play. Where you just playing, I'm playing these also so that I can swap them in for certain cards. Mainly being, let's say, in my matchup, that Roll and Nibiru may not be good. Or let's say I'm playing like Eldritch. Ella doesn't play a lot of monster effect cards that really matter, so in effect in the perm, uh, Nibiru may not be good, effect failure may not be good, Furnace may not be good. But Ghost Bill may be pretty good. The banish, the swapping the banish effect to some of the 
go to land cards would be pretty good with Lancia. So for that reason, these cards may be tossed in instead of those other cards, and I may toss in some of those spell and trap cards too. All right, and then also that still help me go pretty good going first because they may play some of those cards also. So again, yeah, we're playing these two because it's still good, pretty good in today's meta. They also hit cards like the Tri Brigade card, which I god dang hate to the heavens right now. Uh, we're also playing uh, Free Drag Down. We're also playing One Call by the Grave and the One Infusion in the Side Deck, which you may think is really weird. But I feel like, you know, I'm just going to treat it as an All Call by the Grave. Being a Call by the Grave is a card people are speculating it's probably going to get banned in the next ban list. And if you promote new product out there in NATO, which would be really scumbaggy move in my opinion. Christian's already at one. <laughs> they ever brought it higher than that, which, you know, of course, I'm I'm dreaming for, which uh, they're not going to do a cross-out designator. But yeah, we may see this card get banned, so that card may be changing up a uh, list a little bit. Now, you're also seeing we're not playing Exchange, which is something I played in my previous deck list. Mainly being Exchange does not work well with cross-out designator, okay? Because when we played Exchange, we had the option that we could take out our other hand traps that we, we didn't want opponent to get or couldn't set on the board. When playing cross out this, and then you have to keep the hand traps in the main. Okay. So since we don't really have that option to get rid of them because we need to keep them there, I don't want to risk the chance of giving my opponent a hand trap because I have to keep it in the deck. Okay. So we took that out and basically we're saying that cross out this is replacing uh, Exchange. Which definitely is a bonus. Yep. And then of course we're playing some more. Uh, let's go on second. Let's go on second card. Playing the Light and Storm, the Twin Twisters, and the Harpy's Fellow Duster. It's more the back row hate or the main monster deck. Main monster field kind of hate going on there. But you know definitely the Light and Storm could replace the Cross Out Designator. Going second because this card is not. It's pre it's pretty good going. I'll say it's still pretty good going first and second. But it won't have as much as, as effect I feel like I should do in a mirror match. Mirror match, this card is stupid good. Mirror match. That's just a fact right there. In a mirror match, fine. But you're not going to play a mirror match Dark War. I'm sorry to say that. Right, and then to wrap it up real quick, uh, the extra deck is basically exactly the same. Only different is we took out our uh, Invoke Rajin. Because we're not going to play that in the main deck as an extender. We're just training it as a Call by the Grey. So keeping the restrict. And to swap that out, we are playing Zeus. Because Zeus is also getting reprinted in the Mega Tens. This is one I always want to play in this deck. Because after we do our Kyle Yuga, or Kyle Yuga board and we go for OTK, we have a second turn. If we don't somehow kill the OTK on our second turn, guess what? We can end that turn smacking a Zeus on Kyle Yuga or Kaiser. At least have the bounce of that on my well, opponent's next turn. It most guaranteed it made that third turn OTK, okay? So... Better safe than sorry. Same thing if we go to a, for an OTK with Utopia Double. Utopia Double into Utopia. Maybe after that turn we can smack down the... Uh, uh, where are you at? Zeus. Maybe I've had two pops. So yeah. What kind of strategy we're playing with is that. Yeah. Kind of summarizing it up real quick for you guys. How this is going to be changed is made that cross out this and there. Is this going to be changing how you'll be playing hand traps in general. I don't think we'll see as many dubs. But we'll be seeing a ton of two of them in multiple. Okay, at least that's how I'm doing it as a combo board. Why some people worry about combo maybe coming back. Guess what? It is. The Dark World's gonna be leading the way with Armageddon. Yeah, that that's gonna do it for my video, and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That helps me support me and helps me videos for you to enjoy. If you get onto the comment section down below and comment how you think cross out this and there is going to change the meta okay not just the meta but deck building in general because i'm still saying that you're not going to be seeing free ups anymore at least for hand traps at least the targets for cross out this and there it's going to be a lot of two us to make space for multiple different ones you know, there's always a whole joke in ocg how they play like 12 different kinds of freaking hand traps you know we're not doing that we're not that crazy but you know what we don't know some people are wild up in this place okay yeah with that no, it's time for me to say. I hope this week is blessed. Again, next video. That mine. I'm out.